Hello everyone, Silent here and welcome back to another Twitch stream here on Twitch. How are you guys doing tonight? Hope you're doing fantastic and well. We got Lantern being the very first person here early by literally 45 minutes. You don't count. Get out of here. Archangel's here too early. Beast is here too early. We got... Uh, who's the actual first person here? Honey! Yay! <laughs> uh, we also got me being here early for all you fools. We got uh, Archangel of Death in the chat. Raymond and Spectre. Uh, Princess along with Miss Gold. Gold and fur and to Cardath along with Lanther Murloc and Frank Zero Liz Kaz Max and Zachary Tiger the inside and Mythdu along with Hydro Flame Random Guy Ragnon and Beast Zap Dolores Ray Wiz Zeta DT Cubed and Quick Kill Ratty. Uh, let's see who else we got here. Jam on some toast. We got Swash and POA. Along with Ryan. Hello there. Welcome in. We got S-Boys as well. Oh, I had a joke I was going to do. I forget what it was already. Anyway, hi. We're playing on tr uh, Truly Hardcore tonight. If it's if it loads. Yeah, there we go. By the way, Truly Hardcore is brought to you by Nodecraft. If you're looking for a Bedrock Edition or Java Edition Minecraft server, Nodecraft is a great place to get one. You can get a good discount using my code, uh, which is just silent. And their servers work for like 30 different games. So it's not just Bedrock and Java. It's like all these different games. And uh, you can swap between them anytime you want. So it's actually pretty epic. Legit super good. Uh, we're currently hosting 10 servers with Notecraft. So uh, yeah, we got we got a lot of good stuff there. But yeah, if you're looking for a server, check them out. Anyway, hi, we're here. I haven't been on here since the last time that we streamed. We should probably go ahead and uh, sleep. Sleeping is a good thing to do. Whatever my joke was, this is better. Oh, 43 months of resubscribers from zero. Jeez, welcome back. Again? For like the 800th time? My god. He's too powerful to, too powerful to be left alive. <laughs> For real though. Nearly, uh, nearly four years. By the end of the year, you'll be at four years. This is crazy. Hello, Panic. Welcome in. Ads. Me plugging Nodecraft is definitely an ad, but also Twitch runs their ads, so I'm not sure which one you're talking about. Oh, look at this. This is beautiful. Power. Unlimited power. I can build a beacon base before we even have, like, a beacon. Ah, not if I die. Let's try not to die. <laughs> if I die from falling off of a small, short tower, uh, you know... At least it'll be something that's taller than Kuma. But, you know, not much not much else to say about that, is there? Uh, by the way, these farms weren't working for a little while because they were not in the spawn chunks. Bruno realized that having the spawn chunks up there was a bad idea because we have all the villagers and stuff. So he moved it, like, over there, and then uh, the island farms were working. So now spawn is uh, on that little teeny tiny island over there for, you know, whoever respawns. But yeah. That's, uh, that's where it is now. Look at all this iron. We literally have enough for a beacon right now. Void, thank you for the biddies, but please don't spam the chat. Thank you. Continues to spam chat. <laughs> Burn. Dying goes, equals cringe. It does equal cringe. That's where we got our anti-cringe totem right here. It's uh, got the powers of not dying on it. Right then, let's get all this stuff out of here. We got we got way too much iron in here. Way too much iron. This is great. I like it. I like it a lot. This is good. This is good. Or right, put all this junk away up there because no one needs any of that. No one needs any of that either. No one needs any of that. No one needs any of that. Let's start composting some stuff. So tonight, I want to get our starter house built. I feel like that would be a good first thing to do. Because uh, we should probably move out of here before this gets crazy. And then I have an area that I want to put it already. I want to put it... Uh, and this little cove that's over here. So slightly further away. Dying you scringe. Mm-hmm. That's a good quote. Casper back for 27 months. Jeez. What's better than 24? 27. <laughs> yes. It's definitely funnier. Aha. Uh -huh. Many, many funny. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> I'll reincarnate a silent too. Oh, my God. I can tell you do that. Yeah, so this is where I want to put a starter house at. Uh, and I want the starter house to be something funky. It's gonna be great. 
Is this the actual cove? I'm not sure if this is the specific cove. But I know that I definitely wanted it to be a cove in this area. Maybe it's the next one over. <laughs> Zero of a thousand biddies? A message from your terrorist puppy. Bark, bark, yell, bark, bark, yeah. Is it one of those days? Jeez, well, uh, I send my regards. Bark, bark, yelp, bark, bark. Yes, growl. Yes, meow. Don't worry, they'll, they'll get the message. It makes sense. Uh, Papa Sean Son, thank you for four months of Prime subscribers. That's super nice of you. Hope that you're doing great. We also got Void Gaming with just uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 19 biddies and a follow. Thank you so much. Hope you're doing great. We got Dylan with follow gaming and I'm myself with the follows as well. Uh, Casper with that resub for 27. You're insane. Thank you. Dylan again with the follow. If <laughs> Silent 2 becomes my reincarnation, I should post it on Silent 2. What are you talking about? This is already posted on Silent 2. I'm I'm on Silent 2 right now. What are you talking about? That's that's a meta joke for all of you guys on the YouTubes that are watching this. You're not watching this in the future. You're watching this in the present, obviously. Right then. We need we need some taters for all my all my bros that subscribe to Silent 2. Silent 2 is about to break 28,000 subscribers. I don't know. Something like that. One day he'll get a play button, and it'll be the derpiest play button on the planet. And that'll be great. If you are a fellow Silent 2 Chad, make like four accounts and subscribe on each of them. And then we'll we'll have nearly enough for black. <laughs> <laughs> or something more legal and way more fun. Just spam my channel everywhere. You know, I don't know, Twitter, Discord, you know, everywhere. Just spam it. We need we need subscribers. Found an extension of Zloy's house. Yeah, I could just go build like a box on the side of Zloy's house. That'd be hilarious. I'm sure he wouldn't mind. So I put a poisonous potato in there. I'm pretty sure that doesn't work. No, it doesn't. Right then. So, it's raining. Back in indoors I go. Where's closed captions? Does Twitch do closed captions? Remember when we broke 15,000 on the main channel? Oof. Well, that's what you get for being an old man. <laughs> uh, like an itch. The Jedi cannot help themselves. Yes. You also remember being a 5,000 subscriber before you vanished for a while? Oof. Oof. Dies of old. Right, where's my boat? Because we got we to gotta go visit that thing over there. I also need my emeralds. Ah! I'm getting distracted. Everybody's distracted me. Game some titles. Hey! Don't worry. I know what I'm doing. He said, obviously lying. Why is there a tree in the middle? Of, uh, I don't need to know. February 2018. Oh my god. way back in the day uh so we still need to get enchantments on our boots we need to get mending on our armor along with like depth strider and respiration and stuff like that uh we can start trading iron again which is good so we can get some levels that way unbreaking no these guys are good we need to get some source of experience on the server that's very important and we also need to get something good on the shovel uh efficiency for you it'd take four of those because two fours would make a five yeah it would take four of these to get efficiency five which is not worth the emeralds or the anything really i'm breaking three on the axe though we should definitely buy that forget this axe Pfft, don't need that why did i not buy that one before uh and then we got nothing else good okay let's check out the other villagers i know bruno's been doing a lot of work over here oh this is really cute look at that that's really nice. I don't know if that's spoilers or not. If this is Bruno's, then it's definitely not, because he just did a thing. Casser, You're banned! That's it, mister! You're banned! From the Terraria server. <laughs> oh my god. What are you doing? Efficiency 4! That's great! Protection 4! Oh my god! Feather Falling 4! Oh my god! Silk Touch, Aqua Fitting, Knockback... 
Mending Curse of Bite. Oh. <laughs> That's great. Okay, now we got some serious shenanigans happening in the chat. I haven't even mined any diamonds on the server yet. Everything is happening. Why do all of the the moderators of the channel do this to me? This is emotional damage. <laughs> Uh, we got late Mega Lord Emerald with the follow, along with Charge Minecraft Tommy Shelby, and a couple others. Thank you for the follows. Casper of 5,000 bits. Okay, if that's a your yearly dosage, you're not allowed to do anything until July 5th of next year, mister. You're gonna get a 24 hour ban from the Terraria server. Uh, zero for another 100 bitties. What are you doing? Thank you so much. We got Hani gifting us up to A27. Welcome back, 27. Zero gifting a sub to Bear and Scratchy with a prime sub. Thank you so much. We got a hype train going. Only 5,000 bits a year. Now it's fine. Now it's not fine, mister. Also, we started a uh, a Terraria server for all of our, our staff members. And we've, we've kind of been having too much fun on it. They, Creeper has just been... a annihilating that server he has 30 hours played and uh we started it two days ago two or three days ago i think we started it sunday ridiculous oh, so i need to record a bit here because i'm busy making youtube videos bruno's built an amazingly cute little like mangrove house in this cave and i just love it inside of here is things that i love hate slash more and that is a bunch of villagers so this guy's got some efficiency fours definitely gonna be investing into this guy quite a bit we also got ourselves a protection four guy uh i'm nearly good on those i just need one 45 emeralds okay he's literally taking both my kidneys but it's for a cause of not dying uh, feather falling is solid and then of course we got the silk touch the aqua fanny and the knockback definitely need an aqua and this dude over here's got the mending and the curse of binding i really want to do something evil with curse of binding like i really 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 want to like put a pumpkin on someone's head or something truly evil should we do it i'm not that evil i'm just not or am i or am i Bruno has the discounts. Well, Bruno's a, a, a good person. Oh, is this two layers? It might be two layers. Gotta be different. I love evil. Evil's so good. It's good to be evil. It's good to be evil. Uh, is this all we need? We need just one protection for. We need a bunch of mins. We are definitely out of lay emery roads. So we gotta go sell muscle. I mean, my iron. Eh, what's the difference? <laughs> yeah, exactly. The Curse of Binding Pumpkin is the most evil thing, because you can't take it off. Ever. I had a boat. I don't know where it went. Who's built of that? I believe that's Bruno's. I think it's Bruno's. I mean, it makes sense. That's, like, his cave, right? And I believe those are his villagers. He might have just built that on stream, uh, like, recently. I don't really know. We had four stacks of emeralds when we went in there, and now we got Jack. I guess I'll keep a stack of iron blocks, you know. One measly stack. I swear, there was a hundred boats around here. Oh, man. Dude's got haste. Silent's always evil. No, no, no. That's my cousin. Silent, too. My cousin brother from another mother. He's evil. Yesterday? Fair enough. This was brand new. I wish I could build. Can't build. What horrible skin do you make today? Uh, I want a pumpkin crossed with an avocado that's a pig, only slightly zombified, and it has to have a villager nose. I don't even remember what I just said, but I'm sure it was terrible. <laughs> uh, no wonder we ran out of it. It was 30, 30 bucks each. Okay, that's enough to get both of those to efficiency five. Uh, we need four more of these? If we want to get maxed out. Do we have a feather falling? We don't have a feather. I thought we had a feather falling. Hold on. We're going to go back. Uh, we definitely want a silky. On the shovel. And then mending. Okay. Yeah, let's go. Let's go back. Because I'm pretty sure we have a feather falling already. Ugh. 
This sounds horrifying. That's the idea, right? Thank you all so much for the hype train. You're incredible. I love your faces so much. Hopefully you're doing fantastic tonight. Boots aren't even enchanted. I know. They're not enchanted yet. I swear we had mending, mending, feather falling for. Yeah, here we go. It's like I know I wasn't unprepared. I'm just not prepared. Like unpaired. Is there an anvil over here? Okay, good. You know what I'm you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take this. Hey, Slack Lizard! Welcome in! Thank you so much for the raid. How you doing? You're on you're on the server right now. Fantastic. Slack pack raid! What'd you guys get up to tonight? Did you do anything fun? Did you die? I hope not. I'm currently in the business of stealing from Bruno because obviously. It's the thing to do. <laughs> well, borrowing, borrowing from Bruno. I think I can do this. Anyway, trying to get some good enchants over here. Does he have an unbreaking? I don't think he's got an unbreaking guy yet. We should probably try and get unbreaking on a book. Aqua Silk Touch Knockback. Yeah, no, he doesn't have it. Doesn't have it. But welcome in, everybody. Uh, tonight, we are going to be building our Star Tour house, and we're also going to be getting our enchantments and stuff going. Uh, you should be at least 24 blocks away from any mob farm that you're trying to build on Bedrock Edition. Nothing spots within 24 blocks. Oops. Mending goes there. Uh, feather falling. And then we need the Aqua Affinity. That doesn't have Mending on it either. Okay, let's put Mending on that. And Aqua Affinity. That's looking pretty good. Pretty good indeed. Uh, what's it missing? It's supposed to have five enchantments. Protection, Unbreaking, Mending, Aqua Affinity. Ah, it's not Thorns. It's not... What's the fifth one? It's supposed to be five. I forget. Respiration! Thank you. I knew that. We should probably put Mending on the armors too, right? Ah, six levels. Okay. Gotta go sell our, sell our iron. Ugh. Okay. That's not too bad. Curse of Binding 5, yes. I stole the anvil and put it in there. Of course I did. Can I make a new one? I can make a new one. That's what I get. Where was it? It was like right there. Uh, so we're trying to put the efficiency 4 onto this bad boy. We don't even need two of these, but you know what? Why not? Oh, right. I also need protection 4 on the boots. That needs 7 levels. I would like in Java? Yeah, Java's pretty solid. I mean, it's no Bedrock Edition. That's a good thing. <laughs> uh, oh, look at that. Respiration 3. Nice. Is there a bed over here? I don't think there is. Okay, right, let's go. Let's go sleep. Java Rock of the Week. Kind of, maybe. Java doesn't have nearly enough interesting bugs. I've actually been fairly productive this last couple of days. Uh, like, I got most of a bug rock already recorded today. Uh, while also finishing up that with a skeleton farm and cleaning the gutters. So I got the with skull farm done today. I worked on that all day yesterday, too. Half a bug rock done, posted a short. Now I'm streaming and getting part of a hardcore episode done. Just making all the content. None of it's any good, but you know what? It exists. I wasn't supposed to come back here. I was supposed to see all the other one. He needs to consolidate his trading hall. These guys are still sold out. We just need a couple levels here, dudes. Help a pig go out. Okay. Uh, we could buy a bunch of stuff. I don't really want to buy stuff, though. I know he had villagers over here at one point. Where'd they go? 
Do, 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 do. Yeah, I thought, I thought he had more of these dudes. Not sure where he went. Can I sell anything? Just need some levials. Busy pranking. Maybe. Oh. Oh, that's a trash can. Never mind. I don't think I need any of this, is the thing. I just need to wait for these guys to restock. Do, 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 do. Have I experienced guilt for being a vulture yet today? No, not at all. Also, I'm totally blaming Bruno for that vultureness because uh, he was the one that suggested that we become vultures. And became vultures. Right, so that needs respiration. This needs double uh, efficiencies on it. And then we need to get silk touch on one of our tools. We should probably put that on the shovel along with a uh, mending, I guess. There we go. Six levels. Come on. There we go. Seven. Waiting a while. They restock pretty quick. It's supposed to be nine levels. Fine. But now that we got this helmet, and we also have a conduit, uh, we can actually go ahead and take on that... Uh, ocean Monument over there. I would really like to build an XP farm out of that. Two. One more. There we go. Nine levels. Done the name in action yet? I have not looked at that yet. Aquafania. You are evil. So that's supposed to have Depth Strider and Unbreaking on it. And... A protection as well. That doesn't have protection on it. We need seven levels for that. I would have to drain it. Hmm, that's true. That is true. Come on, restock. Aren't guarding farms way more complicated on Java Edition? I think there's some really easy ones that you can build. We definitely need a source of experience. Like, in this very second, we need a source of experience. Oh, come on. That wasn't even enough. I just need, like, three more trades here, guys. There we go. Buy some shovels. Just trying to get stuff done around here. This isn't bedrock smear. You're not bedrock, shmeh. Uh, there we go. Okay. That's looking really solid. Really solid indeed. We definitely need mending for the, uh, pants and armor, though. Silk touch? Should we? Yeah, I guess we should put silk touch on the shovel once we buy another mending. Okay. Let's just get a bunch of experience, then. All the experience that we can. Then we need to start mending these pickaxes as well. Because I need to go to the nether. And get some actual... Like... Netherite. Ender Ender. An Ender Ender might be really good, actually. You're not wrong. You're not wrong at all. That could be fantastic. Uh, specifically because... Let's buy two more of these. Uh, specifically because it's just so easy on Java Edition. Build an Ender Ender. Feather Falling. Yeah, I don't think I need any of this stuff besides another Mending. Let's get two more Mendings. Okay. Eight levels. Looking good. Looking good. Yeah, there's, there's some truly insane mob farms on Java Edition. Like, it's not even... It's not even funny how crazy they are. It's kind of fun. It's kind of nice. But, yeah, we don't have access to any of those right now. I kind of wanted to build, like, a general hostile mob farm. And then just, like, smack them all with the sword to get looting. And then also get some experience out of it that way. Kind of like how you do in Skyblock. But, like, much bigger. Yeah, no, no trident killers on Java. But we have way faster mob spawning, so it doesn't even matter.
Uh, Shaman, thank you so much for three months of resubscribe, Rage. That's super nice of you. Hope you're doing great. We also got Dara and Gaming, Jane, Crystal, and Budwise. Er, <laughs> thank you for the follows. Welcome in. Okay. What do we want to enchant right now, specifically? We should probably get one of these efficiencies and the... We have two efficiency fours. Two mendings in a silk touch. So we could put efficiency four on this and efficiency four on this and a mending on both of them. And then that would be basically all that we need. Two levels there. Two levels there. Five levels for that one. And then we need five and five. A gold farm? Maybe. I'm kind of down for doing whatever, honestly. Because I, I haven't done any of this stuff on Java Edition in so long. I'm kind of down for all of it. These guys are not going to restock for a little while. I don't know what he's doing with his villagers. Otherwise, I'll tell him to get a cleric and uh, buy bottles of enchanting from it. How are we sorting out the end or is it just free for all? We haven't even gone to the end yet. We haven't done the dragon fight yet. We need to do that. For sure, we need to do that. Uh, you got a restock, mateys? That sounded like a restock sound. It was not. Lies. Twice a day. I think we already got three out of them. So we'll come back later, I suppose. Okay, we have one level to my name. <laughs> this is going good. Honestly, we, we have a pretty decent selection of tools right now. Not to mention the two diamond hoes. I think we can just throw away all this iron gear. I, I don't foresee us needing it at all. Watch me throw away a diamond tool on accident. <laughs> And I think that's it. Okay, so we need to get some lime dye. Oh, we could smell different nuggets, but who, who needs that? Nobody needs nuggets. Do we have cactus? We do have cactus. That needs to be smelted. The oxalotl needs to be smelted, obviously. Uh, we don't have nearly enough coal for this. And then we need bone meal for lime, right? Because it's, it's green and white. Okay, so we got that. Beautiful. Let's go check on the iron farm again. Sea pickles. Right, yeah, I did collect a couple sea pickles, actually. Smolten. Yes, smolten. Purple potato and storm. Thank you for the follows. Welcome in. I love how silly and stupid this iron farm is. It's great. Cactus melting also gives okay experience. Oh, yeah, that's right, because it's one each. I forgot about that. That's also the only cactus we have, so we need to make sure that we keep a couple of it so we can start farming it more. We got a couple stacks of iron just like that. That's amazing. Someone's definitely been emptying that out, because that's uh, that one double chest is definitely not a couple days supply. <laughs> let's keep Let's keep like four of these, I guess. Yeah, so we also need a bunch of sand and gravel. We have some gravel. Uh, that's why I need to get efficiency on that shovel. Should put it on the shovel before I put it on the axe, but whatever. I also need to get the bow enchanted. Uh, we need to get sharpness on this thing as well. So we should probably go try for a high level like enchanter, but I don't know. I don't know. Early game experience. Kind of a complicated one. Have a good night, Lanther. Yeah, there's no spawn chunks on Bedrock Edition. Uh, Adubio, thank you for the follow. Welcome in. For some reason, you guys can't see my cursor. You should be able to. Okay, so we need to get sand, right? Luckily, I know where some of that is. There's plenty of deserts around. 
Hey, Robco, welcome in. Glad you're enjoying the hardcore. Personally, I've always been in the mindset of like, eh, it's just kind of silly, but... I mean, it's just Minecraft, but if you die, then that's it. So not really like that much different from normal, but it's kind of fun. I like it. We're putting uh, a different twist on things. You guys are not ready yet. I just need some experience. That can happen. Okay. It's not going to happen. I really don't want to mine without instant mine. Because we need kind of a lot. <laughs> Deserts run around and desert you. Ah, oh, man, they really do. I was hoping those villagers would reset already. Is it like noon that they reset? When does it happen? I don't actually know these things. I was hoping it would have been by now. Efficiency. That's all we need to get on there. Maybe a silk touch too. Uh, I do need to open up the redemptions. Because we have a couple redemptions that need to be done. No opening chests for a minute. Ridiculous. Uh, we also need to change our uh, our skin. So let me figure out how to do that again. Open up launcher. Skins. Switchity swatchity over to this dude. Bippity boppity reload the game. And there we go. I put on the wardy. The wardy onesie. Uh, thank you to Purple Lake for that. I didn't see any name and item requests. Okay, so we got our grapple and stuff. Let's let's make our dies. So basically, I want the starter house to be a frog. I think I already said that at one point. Yeah, I want it to be a frog. It has to be white dye. You can't just use bell meal. Ah. Oh. Should Oxalotl be smelted? Yes, including the bucket. No poor thing. Mmm, Oxacabobble. <laughs> yeah, I agree. Oxacabobble. Sounds like a good thing to me. Wasn't the name I am from? Oh, yeah, yeah. I forget what the name was, though. That's right. That's right. Wanting to try to sell mangrove saplings? I'm not sure. He does? Okay. That's pretty cool. There we go. Always a waiting game with villagers. They're... They love to be in control. Seven levels again. Okay. So close. There we go. Oop. And silk touch. Okay. Now we're looking good. Now we're looking really good. We do need to get sharpness on this thing, though. And while I'm here, I'm just gonna... Get as many levels as I can out of them. Hey, they just restocked. <laughs> Brilliant timing. Perfection. Thank you. 11 levels. That's, that's pretty terrible, but you know what? That's fine. Okay, we're out of here. Gotta go mine some sand. Some schnad. Oh yeah, creeper farm. That's right, we can totally do a creeper farm here. On uh, Truly Hardcore. Because they're, they're actually like pretty much worth building on Java Edition. That's right, I forgot about that. It's still working. Let's put those potatoes back in there. Ugh. Okay. Sand and gravel. So much work. We're gonna go... Maybe we'll just go off to the middle of the ocean somewhere. Uh, all the quotes will get added at some point. Chieftain, thank you for 19 months of resubs. You're crazy. How are you doing? It's good to see you back again. Nearly two years of insanity. Thank you so much for your support.
Or maximum of two restocks. So that's that's silly. That's silly, Zeta. Uh, Brad Gnome, thank you for the Prime sub. Welcome in. Hopefully you're doing great. Is, did Foxy start a new hardcore account with fun of results? Uh, I don't know. That's classified information. I'm not allowed to answer that. <laughs> that was, uh... Place over here that we can go for sand, but this one we'll just get some from here. We got respiration, right? Yeah, we did. Of course. We did not get Depth Strider though. <laughs> oh, this is what it's like without Depth Strider. Ah, oh, I'm dying over here. Come back as Mr. Onion. Did he? That would be hilarious. Everyone was actually really looking forward to doing the series. And rightly so, because it's actually really fun. We've done all this in hardcore? We haven't really done that much so far. We've mostly just been using Bruno's villagers. <laughs> yeah. So far, I've built an iron farm. That's, uh, that's what I've done. Okay, you know what? We gotta get the boat. Thanks for stopping by, Charbar. We'll see you later. I'm trying not to die. It's usually my daily goal to not die. I got one goal in life. Just don't die. So far, I've succeeded. <laughs> uh, a couple stacks of sand. We definitely need a little bit more than that. See, this is so much better now that we got the efficiency. Fox here died. Yeah. We've lost three people so far. We lost Ricky, Foxy, and Tizdom. I thought Tizdom would last longer. Poor guy. Kind of surprised we haven't lost more people, to be fair. Help be turned into die? It cannot. It should be able to. It should give you green. Okay, there, there be there be some lag. Do be a bit of lag. Oh, he came back as Mr. Onion? <laughs> That's great. That's hilarious. Uh, three and a half stacks of sand. We're not going to build a very big frog. I can't bamboo can be composted? I don't know, man. Uh, this over here looks like a nice patch of gravel. That's actually sand, so never mind. Looking for a nice shallow bit of gravel. Oh, I need a few stacks. I would like to get a frog light as well for the eyeballs, but I don't know how we're going to do that. Those of you who actually know how to build things might need to help me out with some uh, design choices. This is all sand, isn't it? Yes, it is. Tiz died to a flaming zombie on a tree. Oh, that's right. He said he thought he was AFK in a safe spot, but nope. Yeah, I would not recommend any form of AFK on a hardcore world. I think we're all guilty of it, just stepping away for like half a second to go do a thing, but uh, yeah. Happens. And Ricky died to an Enderman in the nether. I do not trust this. Java Edition's got block lag too, guys. Don't worry about it. Oh, my bubbles aren't going down. All of this is a bad idea. All of this is a bad idea. <laughs> there we go. I think it's the boats. The boats are kind of glitchy. 
Like, the game thinks that you're still in a boat when you're not actually in a boat. So, uh, that, that can cause you some issues. Come on, Java. I thought you were perfect. Minecraft Java Edition doesn't have any bugs. Absolutely not. We're all aware that Java's a perfect game, and the only game of Minecraft that has bugs is Bedrock Edition. And it's not like Minecraft is just kind of inherently buggy thanks to the nature of an open world sandbox survival game where any aspect ever can interact with any other aspect ever at any given time. So inherently there is going to be giant complexities and make it just very hard to fix bugs. No, it's not like that's the case or anything. Bedrock's just bad. <laughs> Yeah, I can turn you into a ghost. For sure. Right, we got shaders! Whoa! Hallelujah. Look how beautiful this is. Favorite time of day for shaders. It's so laggy on stream. I don't know why. It's like perfectly fine in game. I mean, look at this. We're getting a fantastic 85 FPS. Even though we're rendering just mostly an F3 screen right now. It's definitely a little bit choppy, though. Look how nice that is. The shaders are so good. They're just really good. Look at the reflections on that water. Look at that faint little sunset over there. Beautiful. It's gorgeous. Cute little clouds. 100% GPU is probably why. Is it maxing out GPU? Where do you see this information at? Memory, 65%. Uh, I don't see it. Yeah, GPU 100%. Okay, that would explain why there's a little bit of stuttering. Right. <laughs> and the server crashed. Great. <laughs> Fantastic. Am I going to die from this? Why am I not in a boat? Where's my boat at? I don't want to be stuck in the middle of the ocean at night with no boat. I don't have any wood on me. This is bad. Oh, hold on. Well, I'm Jeebus. I can walk on water now. Thanks to boat bugs! Yeah, this is this is the problem with boats, guys. Boats on Java. They got issues with them! Got issues. I gotta relog. There we go. Hey, there's my boat back. Okay, great. <laughs> it's all good. We, we don't have any issues around here. Nah, no issues. No issues. Okay, how much gravel do we have? That should be enough. Ah, I thought that was a drown. Ah, jeez. Right. Uh, hey, Switchblade. Welcome. I thought I saw your name in chat. How you doing? Out the finer sodium? I have no idea. I don't think either, either one. Java has bugs? Who would have thought? Ah, uh, man. Uh, pups and hair along with a couple others. Thank you so much for the follows. Welcome in. Uh, Noble, thank you for the follow too. Can you guys hear my fan at all? Because it is literally like a thousand degrees in this room. And I gotta blast my fan. I'm gonna turn it up actually because uh, it's wet. Very wet. Okay, you can probably definitely hear that. There we go. Right, we gotta go back to zero, zero. Not that direction. I got all turned around. I think it's this direction. Can't hear it. That's good. If you turn up your volume really loud, you can probably hear it in the background. Never heard it. That's good. Yeah, no, you gotta turn it up really loud to hear it. It's only when I, like, stop talking and the noise gate doesn't kick in fast enough that you can hear it. Like, when I do this, maybe. Maybe. Okay, we gotta go like 600 blocks this direction. Still don't hear it? What if I do this? Now it's on max. <laughs> I can definitely hear it when I'm uh, recording. I don't know what stream has got set up for audio settings. But yeah. Still refusing AC? Maybe a little bit. If my house starts melting, then I might start getting uh, AC. It's not that bad. Yeah, it shouldn't be. 
It is underneath my desk, and I have a towel on top of it to dampen the noise. So, yeah. Are, are you guys melting this time of year? Because uh, I'm melting. Damn, it's hot. <laughs> Supposedly, it's like 110 degrees in like Arizona and Texas and stuff. Soja and Creeper were talking about that the other day. You're melting. Get AC, it's important. It's so expensive. I'm fine melting a little bit. It's freezing for you. You're in Arizona, RIP. You live in South Texas, even more of a rip. Boiling. You guys aren't just melting, you're boiling alive over there. Raining for you in Mexico. That's that's probably pretty nice. But it's probably hot and humid though. You got all that rain. Have I been to the end? I have not been to the end yet. Can confirm meltage in Wisconsin. Yep. Uh, Oreo Thins and Helical, along with a couple others. Thank you for the follows. It's going to hit 112 degrees for you on Friday. My God. Scorching. Yeah, okay. So, let's see. Oh, we can make a little bit of uh, this stuff as well. We got green. Why can't I make lime? Oh, I see. Oh, you right-click it. Hey. Right. <gasps> oh my god. You guys know what we can do? We can do a thing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. I need a door. I need a door. Door, 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 door. Do I at least have a heater? I do have a heater for winters. I always keep it on low, though. I don't turn it on too often. Uh, here we go. Oh my god, we got haste. Right, well, I just broke all of that. <laughs> right, okay. Uh, I need a water. Don't know what that's about. Apparently, I'm not the only one to think of this. <laughs> So because we're on Java Edition, we can, like, put a little bit of that on the offhand and then, like, place it and then, like, just hold down both the buttons! This is so convenient! We need the offhand on Bedrock Edition. All these Java players don't know how easy they got it, man! They don't know how hard it is on Bedrock to convert this stuff. This is so much pain on Bedrock. The speed! And we got a haste beacon as well. Oh, no, we're not actually in range of the haste beacon. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We, that's not even maximum speed! Hold on, we can do this better. Give me haste. There we go. We're gonna do this uh, right here. Yum. Speed. This is beautiful. This isn't even efficiency five yet. Beautiful. It's it's perfection. If you ever w wondered what perfect Minecraft looks like, it's this. It's this right here. I mean, obviously you can build this out of obsidian and it'll work a little bit better, but this is amazing. It's the little things, guys. It, it just helps so much. Give me all of this. Beautiful. I don't know. That one thing, just one little thing called concrete converting is probably enough to, like, make everybody leave Bedrock Edition and join Java. Just saying. Come on, Bedrock. We need the offhand, man. I mean, look at this. Bam. I can juggle items. Look at this. Look at that. I'm just flexing on all these bedrock noobs over here right now. <laughs> uh, I'm flexing on myself because I, I have a base built out of 20,000 concrete and it was pain. Uh... <laughs> We're going to leave bedrock. <laughs> right, where do we want to build this frog at? Oh my god. Over 110 degrees Fahrenheit with 98% humidity. Oh yeah. Literally falling to pieces. You have to hit, turn it into white dye, which is really silly. I think I only need a little bit of this. Oh, we need some pink. Yeah, we need pink. Does anybody know where we can get pink at? Because I, I want to do a tongue. 
Come on, Rippy Roy. His name is Rippy Roy now. <laughs> okay, does he have any... Oh my god, you injured freaking creeper sounds. Does he have a double thingy, make, babe, make Bob? Double tall flower? Come on. Come on. Doesn't. Rippy Roy. <laughs> it's great. Oh my god, right. Yeah, I'm, I'm an idiot. Thank you for reminding me that you can just combine colors. Stealing from a dead man. I didn't steal anything. I was just browsing. I grab wood for a red tongue. I kind of want to do pink, but yeah, that would be fair. Yeah. Now, I always fall off this thing. It's literally like seven blocks tall, and I always fall off of it. It's not stealing if it doesn't belong to any living being. It's got a point. It's got a point. Yeah, being a couple thousand meters above sea level usually does help. Grape robbing. Uh, there's that. You you have a point. I do have a point. Uh, this one. Boop boop. I don't know how much of this I need. Uh, we probably need a little bit of black as well. Okay, so we got lime, black, pink, white, and a little bit of uh, stuff left over in general. We could also get some green. That might be good. Green is always a good idea. When you're building a frog. Lots of this stuff left over. Okay, good. Got iron. Uh, what other blocks do you think we should build with? Silent lifestyle SMP? I don't know what that means. Hello, Black Belt. How you doing? Mm, let's see. I'm not seeing any of the blocks. Mangrove could be a little bit too soon. Terracotta. I did get a bunch of terracotta specifically for this. Thank you. Uh, what colors do we want? Maybe a bit of lime. A bit of green. And then a bit of pink. That's all the terracotta I got. We can go get more, though. We can instant mine it now. Okay. Cool. I need logs as well. Is there a tree out there? There's not. Yeah, you can't use mine. What in Java? That's fair. There's another one? Right. That's silly. Uh, perfect shot. Thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome in. And for five months, too. Uh, right. Let's just try and get some bone meal. Mm. 
This is pretty bad, isn't it? <laughs> Filthy G-Man, back for 24 months of resubscribage. Oh my god. Welcome back for two years. How you doing? You been watching a lot longer than that? Yeah, fair enough. It'd be cool if there was follower anniversaries. Jeez. Oh, It'd be cool if you could, if it like popped up a little thing in chat saying like, "Hey, this person's been following for X amount of time." I mean, you can just look at the profile, but still, who's got time for that? Do 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 do. Literally, just need like a tiny bit of wood. Come on now. Oh my god. Is there a gust block up there or something? Why why no grow? It's called followage. True. Uh, I doubt you'll do this, but you meant a life... A, oh, a lifesteal. I thought you meant lifestyle. Oh, uh, I, I misread it. Sorry. Okay, yeah, lifesteal. That makes more sense. Right then. That could be kind of fun. Ah, oh, jeez, man. Okay, whatever. We're just not going to be able to do it. Jeez. Do I have any wood in here at all? I have one log. Two planks. Two logs. How many worlds have we been through so far? Uh, this is our first hardcore world. This is truly hardcore, so we got a bunch of different people here on the server with us. And we are uh, playing it as a group, basically. Kind of like an SMP, so it's not just my world. There's like a whole bunch of people on here. Uh, so far, we've lost three members. This is actually a really nice little cove right here. Ah, oh, this would be a perfect place to put a frog house. If it weren't diagonal. Maybe I can put a frog going like this way. That way we come out of the, the frog mouth and we get like that. That could be kind of cool. See you later, A27. Thanks so much for stopping by. It's good to see you again. Uh, we got to Tommy with the follow. Thank you so much. And Evan with the follow as well. Been through so many worlds. On hardcore or just in general? <laughs> this isn't even enough for a crafting table and a chest. Hi, bear. And non hardcore job SMP. Uh, there's not much point to that, per se. Crafting table and a chest. Jeez. Yeah, I have so little wood. It's kind of crazy. Can you please grow? It's your one job in this game is to grow into a tree. Hardcore world's fair enough. I just spilled tea everywhere. Hold on. I got a towel right here. Now my fan's going to be a lot louder. You might hear it. Ah, oh, this is sweet tea. Ah, oh, it's all over my mouse pad. Ah, oh, jeez. That's never, that's never going to come out. That's, that's going to be there forever. Okay. Well, that's going to be slightly sticky, slightly sweet, and slightly delicious for forever. Ugh. That's, that's what happens when it's a bajillion degrees in here. Okay, I think we're going to build our house in uh, this little, this little thing right here. Or is someone else living here? Hold on, there's a bunch of boats. What is this? I don't think this is anybody's. Is anybody above here? Ah, oh, somebody's above here. Right. How do we how do we get up there? Uh, free cam mode. Gifts from from Jen and Slack, okay. <laughs> Silent is indeed in derp. A little bit. It's only because it's like 3000 degrees in here. Oh, I got a mushroom area in there. That's definitely not dangerous at all. Uh so yeah, this seems like a super janky evil staircase. Yeah, I think I could build a frog right here. What do you guys think? This seems like a good area for a frog house to me. It's got the cute little, like, roof right there. We can terraform this a little bit. We can have, like, the frog facing the sunset. It'll be beautiful. And uh, we can terraform up some of this around it. Kind of, like, give it a little 
a little frog pond. I think it'll be great. <laughs> the jankier, the better. Absolutely. We got cute little oxawattles everywhere. It's going to be good. <gasps> the tree grew. Finally. God. Okay, we're going to go murder it. Got it. It's perfect. Okay, great. Forg. It's a forg. <laughs> Frogs are adorable. Let me just be honest. A couple days after the wild update dropped, I actually saw a frog in my yard. I was like, oh, look at that. I almost posted a picture of it. But I didn't. Because people would probably research what species of frog it is and then be like, ah, he lives in this area. Ha ha. And be all weird about it. That's why I don't tell you guys the weather anymore. Because y'all try and find out where I live based on the weather. No joke. People tried to figure that out. Like, okay, based on him saying it's raining, there's seven counties in which it's raining right now. We can narrow that down. And then cross-referencing against multiple live streams, we can pinpoint his location within 20 millimeters. <laughs> yeah. Can I speak Chinese? I can barely speak English. Expecting any other language out of me is uh, a big ask. That's just creepy. Yep. Sure is. Okay. Okay. Let's go. Let's go build a thing. I need to get a thermometer in here because I swear it's literally like a thousand degrees. <laughs> what other games do I play? Uh, mostly Minecraft and then uh, Terraria a little bit recently and Halo Infinite. Those are basically like the things I play. Not really much. To say the wrong way to throw them off. Maybe I do. Maybe I do. And it sucks how it's super sunny and like, oh my god, it's like <laughs> beaming sunshine out there. Obviously, you know that's a lie. It's Oregon. And it, it, the sun never shines around here. Halo stream. Uh, maybe if we had a second channel, but not really for, for this channel, I don't think. Also, Halo Infinite isn't really like a game that our community is interested in or that any broader community is going to be too interested in. So, like, there's not much... Uh, point in streaming it for entertainment purposes. You get tired of infinite. The multiplayer is pretty good. I wouldn't recommend playing a solo multiplayer. The campaign is kind of kind of a letdown. Um, I do agree on that front. And in general, uh, I need some like basic blocks. In general, it's a very sweaty game. Like, everybody is, not just because it's a million degrees in here, but because everybody is uh, a very much a tryhard. Okay, we're going to start a new replay. That way I can easily uh, turn this into a time lapse. By the way, I'd like to inform you that I have no idea what I'm doing. I thought that that would be obvious, but I feel I feel like I should state that. So we do have all the materials that we need to build a nice little frog right here. We got some lime and concrete. We got ourselves some lime and green terracottas, pink terracotta, pink concrete, white concrete, green concrete, black concrete. We got all the concretes. And uh, hopefully that'll be enough to give this little frog go a little bit of variation here and there. But we're just going to go ahead and make ourselves a general outline. We're going to have it be an open mouth frog. And we're going to have it have a cute little pink tongue. And it's going to be adorable. And hopefully it doesn't look terrible. Or if it does look terrible, I'm going to say that that's on purpose. Uh, that way, it just looks like a derpy frog. I have not sketched this out in creative. I don't know what I want it to look like. We're going to maybe give it some jagged teeth. Because I don't know what frogs look like. And yeah, we're just going to completely yellow this thing. Uh, you know what? I actually do kind of want it to be a little bit like that. There we go. Place it a little bit like that. Okay. It should be probably a block taller than this. So if we make the front of the mouth up about this height, how? where are we going to put the eyes at? We got to put the eyes like somewhere up over there so you can actually see it. Because otherwise it's going to be a, a green rectangle. I mean, green rectangles are like all the style right now, but... It would be nice if it made a little bit of sense to passer goer buys. Give it a nice little 
stomach, bottom of mouth, both. I don't know how anatomy works, but we're gonna we're gonna say this is the bottom of the frog because it's on the bottom. I feel like that makes sense. <laughs> Jagged teeth. What frogs do I have here? Evil frogs. I've been playing Terraria. There's no there's no good frogs. No good frogs. <laughs> Can I just hold it? I can absolutely just hold it. Ah, oh, beautiful. Right, I don't want to convert all that. Frogs have no teeth, right? I'm pretty sure they just munch on things. Num 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 num. Damn sneaky for some frog inspiration. We've actually gotten some sneaky fan art before. That's pretty epic. Okay, so of course the frog deserves to have some teeth because, you know, of course it does. So we're going to go ahead and put some teeth in all these locations. There we go. Looking good. <laughs> love it. Love it. We'll, we'll add these back later, but they're kind of in the way for right now. Oh, yeah. Frogs do end up upside down when they die. That's weird. Kind of like bugs. Jim carries the mask. <laughs> When teeth be more of a crocodile, it could be a crocodile frog. Right, we need to give it some arms too, obviously. It should probably go back into here. Yeah, it should probably go back a little bit further. And then top of frog needs to be like up here. Is that all my lime concrete? I thought we had a lot more than that. Oops. Uh, okay, good. We we have more. We should probably just make the four stacks, honestly. Uh, right, let's go ahead and convert that. Guess I'll just go ahead and make a giant pillar up to the ceiling and, uh, nope, just do it like this. Where frog skin? It's a frogodile. Straight up. The items do kind of go everywhere when you're doing this, though. Is there a delay on what you're hearing, what you're seeing? Uh, I'm gonna jump and say pizza. Pizza! There shouldn't be. Uh, if you're getting a desynced, then you might just need to refresh your stream. So I'll try that out and then let me know what's up. We can totally put our tongue. We're, we're absolutely putting a tongue in it. And the frog. It's it's the frog's tongue. I felt like that sentence needed some more context. <laughs> well, one thing's for sure. You definitely don't need to buy a sauna during the summer. <laughs> Yes, 85% of my commentary is about the weather. I'm an old man, okay? I'm retired. I'm allowed to talk about the weather. What's that one thing that's like that like hangs from the back of your mouth? Unless you live in Russia. Well, no, it gets hot in Russia, doesn't it? Refreshing the stream fixed the delay? I thought it would. 80% of the Discord chats about weather. Of course it is. Uvala, yeah. How old am I? Very old. Extremely. Old man. Old enough to talk about the weather. Okay, you can probably hear the fan at this point, but I, I absolutely need it. At least 12. I'm watering the concrete. I think we'll bump this out a little bit. Yeah, do frogs have uvulas? I don't know, but there it is. It exists now. <laughs> You're gonna die soon, you're 16. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're old. Monsters nearby, ain't no monsters nearby. Why can you sleep, but I can't? There's definitely a zombie in there. Fine, I guess I'll just go back to my house. 
Moscow gets 40 degrees Celsius or 100 degrees in the summer in mid-August. Yeah, that's what I thought. Because Lloyd's like always talking about, you know, it gets hot over there too. See, he's an old man. He talks about the weather too. Let's see. Come on. Gotta get this frog built. The only monster here is silent. Darn straight. Now I'm a monster. So is actually Russian? Yeah. Is he a fake Russian? <laughs> is he an American spy? <laughs> uh, let's see. This is looking froggish. How did you get all the way up there? Yeah, the blocks really go everywhere. We need a proper concrete making station. There we go. Yeah, it's, it's frog adjacent. It's definitely frog adjacent. We need to figure out how to like end up the back of the frog. I think we're going to make a staircase that goes down. So the, the ceiling of the frog will kind of end like right here-ish. And uh, that'll be the inside of it. And then, of course, the frog needs to go further back. So it should probably go at least a little bit, a little bit further back. Kind of like this. And then it'll kind of go underwater from here. Bacon station. Yeah, I don't know what kind of frog this is, but I know that it's definitely a derpy frog. That's that's all I got to say about it. The frogs have tails? No, they definitely don't. But they do have like pointed pointed like backs, right? Like it's it's little 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 roundy, little pointy. Perfect temperature is about 71. Yeah, somewhere in the 70s is usually pretty solid, pretty good temperature. Would recommend. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, they do have tails when they're tiny. You're, you're absolutely right. Okay, that's looking like a frog mouth-ish. <laughs> that's so dumb. Okay. Oops. Okay. Uh, let's try it right here. Hey, he's fine if humidity is low. Yeah, humidity is uh, a thing. Very short tongue. That's not the tongue. That's the Uvalov thingy. The hangy thingy. Uh, yeah, we're working on the tongue right now. So we want to give it a little bit of uh... I kind of want to walk down the tongue. Oh my god! This is just like the the frog that you walk into in Castle Crashers. Have you guys ever played that? There's a giant frog that you walk into, and it's got like its mouth propped open with a stick, and it's got a whole library of weapons in it, and it's really dumb, <laughs> and I love it. Uh, you know what? That should come out by two. Yeah, it's just like that frog. That frog's green, too. Needs antlers. <laughs> what kind of frogs do you have? <laughs> uh, hold on. Let's see. Castle Crashers frog. Yes! Oh, it does need antlers. You're absolutely right. <laughs> Bro, this frog is great. You need to see this frog. Uh, if you Google Castle Crashers frog, you'll see it. 
but also I'm going to show it to you. So. Here it is. Yeah. Look at this adorable frog. It's got a rope around its tongue. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> oh, people made like little plushies out of it. That's adorable. I would totally buy a plushie of this. Oh, it's crying. Oh, man. <laughs> Look at this. It's great, man. So good. Let's see. What else we got in here? Yeah, Castle Crashers. Oh my god, somebody made it in Minecraft. This is basically what we're going for. <laughs> Best frog in gaming award goes to Castle Crashers. Sad frog. Oh, look how adorable it is. It's so cute. <laughs> I totally want to make that. Oh my god. Yeah. <laughs> Let's see, save to reference image folder, because that's just adorable. I want a sticker with that. That's so cute. So cute. Oh, that's great. Beautiful. Yeah, so how do we want to do the eyes? The eyes is one thing I don't really know what I'm doing with. Yo, eyes and frog eyes look so similar. Do they? I never noticed that. Also, can you guys not hear the fan at all? Because I swear, it is so loud. It gets, it's very audible to me. But if you can't, then that's epic. I love my microphone. It's such a good mic. You can't. Can I use banners? I could use banners. I don't have any wool right now. Ha <laughs> This looks so dumb. I love it. Uh, can you bone meal? You can bone meal moss. Hold on. I need some bone meal. Ow. Uh, you can hear it super loud. Oh, shut up. <laughs> A little bit. You can't hear it over your own. Well, that's fair. That's fair. Loom dude. Loom dude is a thing. That we don't have. We're gonna go grab all the poppies from Jen's iron farm. Barely. That's good. I'm glad you guys can't. Having background noise is one of like the the worst things ever. Background noise is the worst for like any anybody. Uh so hopefully it's not too serious. But yeah, it's boiling. I even got my window open. Somebody walks down the street, they're gonna be like, who's that? Yelling at their mic. Or more likely to sleep. Who's that talking to themselves? What? Crazy person lives in that house. Move along, Billy. Move along. Walk faster. Walk faster. <laughs> uh, no, those are just standard iron farms. They just got uh, five villagers in them. We could put a uh, dude in there. Zombie. Uh, GFC Taser and Fabrio, Dame the Dime 83, Lobbit Hobbit, Vert Kirk, and Tequila Man, along with Lurin Record. Thank you for the follows, everybody. Welcome in. Armored Frogs with the end of the world. Absolutely. That's why we had to kill all the dinosaurs with a meteorite. They were just too overpowered. Okay. Are you ready for the big reveal? It's Derpy! <laughs> It's so dumb. <laughs> I think we need to make it a little bit wider at the back than at the front. And also, like, it doesn't have any arms. That's uh, somewhat important. It, it should probably have arms. Legs is debatable, but it should probably have arms. Can I not bone meal this? I really thought I could bone meal this. Wow. Wow. I, th I kind of wanted it to spread all... Okay, whatever. We'll just do it the hard way, then! Ah, <laughs> uh, yeah, so they can't always see the zombie. Frogs have arms? Frogs definitely have arms! What do frog arms look like? Right, so question of the day for all of you in the chat and in the comments. 
what do frog arms look like? Draw a pair of frog arms right now. And if they look like my frog arms, then congratulations, you win a cookie. If they don't look like my frog arms, then you do not know what frog arms look like. Because obviously my frog arms are the most correctest of all the arms. Uh, there's no way I could be wrong. I think that looks like a frog arm. That looks like a frog arm to me. Okay, good. Let's put one on the other side. If your frog arms don't look like that, I'm sorry. You don't know what frog arms look like. <laughs> How did I build that? It's literally four blocks, but I already forgot. Okay. Uh, it goes one, two, three, four blocks back. Yeah. There we go. Cute little frog arms. Maybe some slabs, but what kind of slabs? Hey, BT. <laughs> Snakes don't have arms. Silly. Green, green ones. Wow. I mean... <laughs> yeah, green slabs. There's no green slabs, though, are there? Yeah, an elbow and fingers. Yeah, that's his elbow, and these are his fingers, obviously. Derpy frog emote. We definitely need a derpy frog emote. I'm sorry to all the members of the Truly Hardcore server for the travesty that I've created. But as you can see, it now has arms and legs. <laughs> Hold on, we need to get a be we need to get a better view of this thing. <laughs> it's terrible. I love it. It's so cute. It's terrible. <laughs> the frog has a broken leg. Nah, man, it's just got tiny legs. It's it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's eyes going at the ceiling. It's great. <laughs> like a demented frog if I've ever seen one. <laughs> it needs to be the thumbnail. Yes, thank you for reminding me of the thumbnails. I was actually thinking of adding a redemption where you guys get to choose what the thumbnail is for that live stream. Uh, you, I, you would have to make sure that I actually see it, like, when it happens, though. Like, when you do the redemption. So, like, at me in the chat or something. Uh, because otherwise we would, like, miss the opportunity. But, I feel like that could be really fun. Because I always forget to get a picture for the thumbnails for Silent 2. And then I gotta go back and figure out what to do for a thumbnail. And it's kind of silly. So, you end up with all these random thumbnails that don't make any sense. And, uh, it's just a bit silly. It needs his teeth. Oh my god, yes. <laughs> okay, let's get rid of this. Might be sorry for it. <laughs> Evil Kappa. Right, 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 okay. <laughs> I can make it worse. <laughs> Okay. I'm dying. I'm dying over here. Okay. I would like to inform you that I have improved upon the frog. I've learned from all my mistakes. I've made great lessons. <laughs> it's got teeth! Buck teeth at that! <laughs> it's great. I definitely need to add some, like, oomph to the back of the frog, though. Because it's, it's kind of thin. It's kind of a thin frog. It's a frog, not a turtle. Uh, it's a froggle. It's a frog crocodile. Give it a gold block as a tooth. I'm definitely giving it a gold block as a tooth. Hold on. <laughs> frog is a five star. Beautiful. There he is. I can't wait until uh, we get some other people's reactions to this, because there's no one else online right now. 
So I want to see like the other. Oh yeah, yellow concrete could have done it. Yeah, yeah. I think the gold tooth is best though. <laughs> There we go. Frog has been upgraded. It's now level 9,000. Uh, I need to give it a little bit of texturization. We're going to use some of the green terracottas and the lime terracottas. We even got a little bit of green concrete we could add into it as well. I want to get moss all up on the ceiling right here and kind of terraform that. And then I want to build up a little bit of a rocky like uh, cliff right around here so that you don't see that it's you know just floating off the water. And then we're going to make the staircase on the inside of it basically going down into the frog. That way we can have our base uh, somewhere inside of this right here, I guess. Is there anything right here that I need to be aware of? Just a staircase. Uh, okay, great. And then this is all water out here. So yeah, we'll just basically go into this little mountainside and then that'll be our house. I thought that was deep dark. Hold on. That is deep dark over there. I'm cheating! I'm cheating! Ban me! Ban me now. It's over 9,000. <laughs> Give it a hat. I don't know how to build a hat, but I know how to build a bad frog. Uh, great. What do we want to do now? Oh, yeah. We're going to texturize it. I know what I'm doing. Lime terracotta, green. Uh, that's green terracotta? Do I not have green concrete? I guess not. Too many top hats. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like it. Yeah. Okay, these are all very green blocks. Pirate frog needs a parrot. Of course, actually. I'm not going to do too much on the top of it because, like, you're never going to see it. And, like, this whole right side, you're never going to see that either. Unless you're cheating, in which case you're a big cheater. Uh, you know what? That should be on three. Yeah, I got a, shov a shovel on my second slot. That's that's fine. That should be a bow. But I don't have infinity or an arrow, so. Oh, you know what? That definitely needs a torch in there. And then I think... Yeah, a torch right there. I don't know if this will be an improvement or... Not, but we'll see. I think the lighter greens would be better instead of the darker greens. Well, you don't really notice it on the face because I didn't put it in there, but it's all right, I guess. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leprosy? Oh, I forget about what leprosy is. Give it a fedora. Uh, I hope to have the raid farm out this weekend because uh, I'm going to finish up a bug rock video tonight and then that'll be for Thursday and then I should have all day tomorrow to record that raid farm. Uh, really, I've just been needing time in order to get that done because I know it's going to take me an entire day so I don't want to like start it with a half day and then like miss a video or have to delay it significantly. I know it's already been delayed, but, you know, I'm trying. I just want to make sure it's, like, actually proper and good and not uh, rushed or anything like that. Now, you know what? Some of these are going to end up being stair blocks. Been looking forward to that. I've been looking forward to it as well. I, th I think it's going to be an insane video. Everybody's been really looking forward to it in the comments. I get so many questions about it every day. Uh, I know I really need to get it done. But yeah, people are 
really interesting that it seems, which is great. It's great. I'm glad I did a little teaser for it. Pico Nico's just like an absolute mad lad of madness. Like that farm is so cool. You die in your world, you pull a switch when switching to Java. Well, that's not fair. Creeper! <laughs> There's a creeper behind you. Uh, we'll have to clear out some of this water, I guess. Uh, the Wither Skeleton farm dropped today, by the way, if you guys aren't aware. That video is now out. And you can get like 6,900 Wither Skulls an hour. <laughs> or like up to 8,000. Uh, the average should be around 6,900, but you uh, might get more. Which is just insanity. That is just insane, isn't it? Uh, by the way, oh, I forgot to mention this in the comments. I should have really mentioned this. Uh, the rates for it is like 18,000-ish items per hour, but that doesn't count any items from the Wither Skeletons. So if you count like the 18,000 that you get for the mobs, plus like the six, or, you know, basically 7,000 to 8,000 Wither Skulls that you get per hour, uh, add that on there. And then there's all the bones and the and the coal and... Uh, yeah, so there's the bones and the coal that you get from the Wither Skeletons. I don't know how much of that you get per hour, so add that to the rate count. And then there's also all the junk armor, tools, weapons that you get from all the regular mobs and from the Wither Skeletons. So in total, it's probably like 30-ish thousand items per hour. Uh, but of course, all the junk items, they don't they don't really count for anything. Those there. Junk? Nobody wants those. Uh, so I, I tried to exclude those from my rates list, but I could include it if I wanted to be like super clickbaity. Um, yeah, I really should update that thumbnail though, because it says 18,000, but it's not because it's all the Wither Skulls. So it should be like 24,000 items an hour. Anyway, it doesn't matter too much. It's a lot! <laughs> you need your renewable stone swords? I know. Uh, right, where am I going with this? Hold on. I think I, I gotta go back a couple more blocks, and then uh, I can go straight. And then this can be our house! Hi, Spite! Welcome in! How you doing? Hopefully you're doing great. I think I need to make some signs, get rid of this water. Or we're just gonna have lots of water everywhere that we go. Oh, also, do you guys know of a Tiny Totems texture pack for Java Edition? I tried finding one on the uh, Vanilla Tweaks, but all they had was the one for, like, all of the utilities, like food and everything. I don't really like that. I guess I could probably just download that texture pack, though, and then delete everything that's not the totem. I guess that would that would work. Invisible? I don't want an invisible totem, though. I just want a tiny totem. Am I having roomies? Anybody can move in. Move me if they want to. Make a custom, custom texture for it. I already have the custom texture made. It should work for Java Edition. Ugh. Okay. Uh, let's make this three tall. Yeah, so we'll we'll bother decorating all this stuff later. An Amogus totem? No. I might get a subscribe button totem. Oh, by the way, we are officially like sub 5,000 subs away from uh, 500,000 on YouTube now, which is insanity. We are in the home stretch. We've, we've been in the home stretch for a few months now. <laughs> We haven't been growing that fast, but we're we're proper proper close now. I swear, if it takes us another month to break it, that's just gonna be really silly. 
yeah, we're, we're, we're less than 5,000 away now. It's crazy. Half a bajillion. Half a million. So close. Yeah, so far. Yeah. There was a time when we were gaining like 30,000 people a month, and that was crazy. Uh, but right now we're gaining like five a month. So it might legit be another month <laughs> until we break it. <laughs> Even though we're like 5,000 away. <gasps> we get like 2 million views a month. So like you would think, you know, one or two more people would subscribe. Maybe I just need to do more clickbait. Maybe that's what it is. I'm sure that's what it is. Thanks, guys. You, you give me the best feedback. Okay, the back of this frog is really ugly. Although, I've never seen the back side of a frog that looks particularly beautiful. So, there is, there is that. Not another month. I hope not. I really want to break it already. I've been looking forward to it for such a long time. Been trying not to get too excited because I know we're like, you know, not growing that fast or anything. But uh, now we're really close. <laughs> we're literally like 4,700 away, 4,650 away. Am I looking at frogs' backsides? No. Maybe sometimes. <laughs> Update my farm videos. Uh, a lot of them are still working. But yeah, I do need to make a, t a playlist for the ones that are currently working and the ones that are broken. Uh, I definitely need to be releasing more tutorials, though. It's not creepy. It's just science. The timing was bad. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, so we, we can turn that into whatever. Oh, I don't trust anything out here. This seems so dark and creepery. When we get a face reveal at 1 million, it's supposed to be a 10 mil. That's, that's the meme, and that's uh, what we're going for. 10 mil subs, you get a face reveal. That, that was the deal that we made like five years ago on a random live stream and that was the joke that I made and we're sticking to it Because old memes never die Okay, we're gonna do a real rough outline of cobble for this little like cliffside that we're doing here I don't have silk touch, so we don't have any stone right now uh, We can get a little bit of uh, like gravel sand dirt and as I sprinkle that in a little bit uh, I just want to get like a real, real rough little uh, outline of what I want right here. Basically, gonna be like a little, a little teeny tiny pond. Is there a raid farm design that doesn't kill you every time? That should be all of them. All, of, all of mine. Anyway, N none of mine should kill you. Unless you have something built wrong, or you're just getting unlucky, I guess. The vexes might be causing you some problems. You might need Thorn's armor, and you might need to put down some boats or something. In, in general, though, yeah, a, a good raid farm shouldn't kill you. Uh, the 24 stacked raid farm, I don't think we'll even have an opportunity to kill you. Not from the raiders, anyway, because they're going to be pretty far away. By the way, that farm is so much more crazier than even what I showed in that short. Like, the official title for that thing is, like, three sentences. Uh, that's coming out, hopefully, on the weekend. I think. I hope. Assuming that I get time to do it. Okay, we need cobble and stuff. Think about the emeralds. 100 stack raid farm win. Uh, the thing is that you get diminishing returns. Uh, so, you... There's no real point in doing anything above 24 stack, because... You don't get enough bad omen to supply all the villages with, you know, bad omen. So, if you start a raid and all the raids finish... So, like, if you start a raid in village 1 and then you get to, like, village 25 and the raid in the first village has already ended, then there's no point in having that many villages. 
ideally what you want it to do is you want to have it loop perfectly so like as soon as the raid at village one is over then you go back to village one start a new raid and for the most part that seems to be a 24 stack and also you just don't get enough bad omen to start a raid in 30 villages or 45 villages he did make a 48 stack raid farm uh but you can't start raids in all of them I mean, you could probably do a hundred stack. I mean, there's there's no real thing stopping you, but you don't get enough bad omen for it. If we <laughs> granted this farm already works around the bad omen problem, because there's a bug where raiders actually prevent the outposts from spawning more pillagers. So this raid farm already works around that. And it's insane. You can probably figure out what it does to get around that. How long do raids take on average? It's like two and a half minutes or something. I don't know. It's 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 not like super quick. You can get insta kill designs, um, but it doesn't particularly matter if you got stacked. This one isn't an insta-kill farm. You could probably make it an insta-kill farm if you wanted to, but it, it wouldn't really do anything. There's no reason to do it. Yeah, the immortal mob bug would be a valid way of doing it, except that that bug is too unreliable now. I have no cobblestone. We gotta go mine, like, in this mountain somewhere. Yeah, nobody needs a 24 stack raid farm, but everybody's going to build it because it's fun. <laughs> also, you don't need to make a 24 stack. You can make it like just one village or five or 10 or 20, whatever you feel like doing. Are we going to have uh, this speed effect over here? Thank you. Yeah, this works really well. Everybody get ready for a creeper sound. Uh-huh. Go away. You already have infinite emeralds? Of course. Everybody has infinite emeralds. 24 stacked raid farm is for the flex. And for the ability to have, like, all of the emeralds for an entire server and all the totems. And with an allay item sorter, it's going to be a great source of uh, iron and stuff, too. Uh, BS Double, thank you so much for the Prime sub. Welcome in. Hopefully you are doing great tonight. Thank you for your support. We got a bunch of new followers as well. Thank you all so much. Uh, we got Gel and Double with the follow Twonky and Chungus and Key Legends. Thank you so much, guys. You don't die in your worlds unless it's early game. Yeah, pretty much only early game is deadly. Uh, Minecraft is a fairly easy game, to be fair. Unless you're intentionally doing something crazy there's not much that's gonna get you killed also twonky with the prime sub as well dang both y'all guys just getting on in here dropping a follow and a prime sub immediately you're crazy welcome in hopefully you enjoy the emotes furry kitten thank you for the follow too i wish make some like walls and stuff Got more than that maybe you can make andesite. Oh, yes. I'm definitely going to make some of this dirty andesite. This is cursed andesite. Absolutely cursed andesite. But uh, you know what? That's fine. Should make some cobble stairs. Should make some andesite stairs. There we go. Now we're cooking with electricity. Can you make mossy? I think you can. You can use moss and cobble and make mossy cobblestone, right? 
But can you find a dupe, dupe lays? 1.19.10 is going to be the lay duping update for Bedrock Edition. 1.19.1 uh, for Java, I think. Oh, yeah, well, the Warden will kill you, so, you know, watch out for that. <laughs> Yeah, the Warden don't care about your pathetic life. It will, however, take your soul. A lot of this needs to be swapped out with regular stone. I just don't have any. Uh, both of these are silk. Both my pickaxes are silk touch. Have made a new weather cage for 1910? I have not. I, I gotta wait for that update to release, I think. And then, uh, see what's up with it then. Is that not gonna be waterlogged? Yeah, so once that update's out. Or maybe I'll play around with it in betas, you know, see what I can figure out. What do I think the best way to kill the warden is? Uh, probably power five bow. Definitely stay away from it. Like get it, get it stuck in a hole and then just pound it. Maybe drop it in lava or something. I don't know. Or no, it's fire resistant, isn't it? Yeah, that's right. I just want to place you upright. Just right there. Thank you. Yeah, they really tried to make that thing uh, pretty impossible to kill. And they did a fairly good job. But also, they just made it, like, farmable as well. So, you know, that's the thing. I was pretty sure it wasn't supposed to be farmable, because that's the thing that they were saying for months, but then they made it farmable. Ah, uh, uh, this is Java Edition, but we're doing all the same things that we would normally be doing on Bedrock anyway. While also poking fun at both versions for being weird. <laughs> that chicken. I definitely hear a chicken. I heard a chicken somewhere. I have no idea where it went, though. Still incredibly easy to farm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Super, super easy. Ah, it's right, literally right there. What are we naming this frog? I want to call it, like, my humble abode, but I want it to be a frog pun. Wait, 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 wait. Shaders. Rain. Not gonna lie, it's a pretty epic looking frog. Uh, let's make me look this way a little bit, and then we'll do the free cam, and bam. There we go. Stream thumbnail right there. Beautiful. <laughs> my humble toad! This is my humble toad, everybody. Perfect. <laughs> My humble toad. <laughs> it's really dumb. I hate it. I love it. Yeah, we're going to swap a lot of this out for mossy and stone once I have those materials. Humble toad is great. Thank you so much for that. That's, that's fantastic. Can you not bump things down a line? Oh, you can press the up and down arrows, though, to go up and down. That's really nice, though. Cool. We're totally spawn-proofing everything in this area. 
I trust nothing. Never trust anything. Trusting things is overrated, and I don't need friends. I mean, what? Don't need creeper friends, that's for sure. Uh, right. Can I get across to there? Yes, I can. I know a creeper's never going to climb out of this and get me, but you know what? That doesn't stop me from thinking about it. Fly killer. It is a fly killer. <laughs> you. Terrible. Evil. Die the warden. R.I.P. You you fought valiantly, or ran away valiantly, whichever one applies to your specific situation. Is that always that tall? Also, look at that hitbox. That's crazy. I don't know what's up with that, but okay. Oh, this looks really nice. Uh, we have a bunch of hoes. So, we're gonna come through here and do this. After we take a, a nap. Drive is way better. Hitboxes, they... Yeah, they really do. It's not they anymore when I'm referencing Java. It's me. I have much better hitboxes. <laughs> I yeah. I have the hitboxes. Unlimited hitbox. Uh, let's see about this. What I can. Ah, oh, mossy cobblestone. That's exactly what I wanted. There's only one of them though. See you later, Sun Chip. Thanks for stopping by. I've become the very thing I swore to destroy. Yeah. <laughs> Brought out the evil side. <laughs> this thing's so dumb. What do you mean, brought out the evil side? It was never hiding. It can't convert uh, cobble, can it? And it can't spread underneath water, can it? No. Okay. Come on, spread. Thank you. Now it doesn't look like I destroyed the place. It looks like I destroyed the place and then tried to fix it. And hide the fact that I destroyed it. This is pretty good. It'd be nice if we didn't have to mine things multiple times, but you know what, whatever. <laughs> you guys keep trying to keep me with the creepers. It ain't happening. <laughs> okay. Uh, that should hopefully be enough. Do I still have more moss? I do. Okay, great. Oh, uh, then we can put like some moss carpet and stuff too. Oh, uh, look at this. Look at this, guys. I can I can do it with, like, two hands. Mm-hmm. Professional. Professional. Don't need to switch hotbar slots. Because we got the offhand. This could be us on Bedrock Edition. But nah. You gotta suffer. I need to get some mossy slabs and stairs in here. And mossy walls. Or 
for sure. Oop, that one's got the a toad on it. No wonder people on Java always get stuff done so fast. It's legitimately just way faster than play this game. Everything about it is just faster. Oh, look at that. That's really cool down there. I didn't even know there's a giant ravine right there. Right, you can't craft out of your uh, offhand, though, which is kind of silly. And then we need some mossy walls! The perfect block doesn't exist. And then mossy walls enter the chat. Let's see. Definitely want a mossy slab. Definitely want a mossy stair. This is great. You'll wait until we visit an ancient city for the next creeper sound? <laughs> Thanks for letting me know. I appreciate that. You're, you're the best. You're, you're always looking out for me. Always making sure I'm paying attention. Okay, we should probably put a couple of these down here. Easy. Mojang wants to better place to suffer. Nah, they're just slow. To be fair, they have a lot of things to do. This over here looks weird. I don't know how to fix it. Break! Java Edition's perfect, guys. No issues here. Definitely no issues here at all. Nah, none. There we go. <laughs> Look at that. It works as intended. Good stuff. <laughs> Even a dirt bug. Well, I mean, you never know. Maybe they're redoing a bunch of stuff on the back end. And, like, updating the mobile controls so that they can add, uh, offhand. You never know. They're they're usually working a couple months ahead on things. So like if you see something weird happen in like the back end and they're like changing some little little mechanic or something, or they're laying some foundation work, then you know that something big's probably on the horizon that they're looking forward to. Like they're usually planning like six months ahead on stuff. Like stuff in 1.16 was implemented and used in 1.19. I mean, like, big, big foundational things. Oh, yeah! A little blackstone button. That'd be great. Do I have any blackstone? I think we can do that. That'd be great. Spectator mode is going to be great. Yeah, like, we're getting spectator mode on Bedrock Edition, guys. Come on. And we're getting the locate biome command and a lay duplication. Like, we're getting a lot of good stuff. It's just going to take a little while. Give them time. They're working on a lot of good stuff. Working on a lot of good stuff. And yeah, hardcore mode should definitely come after that. Ah, oh my God. That was muted. Anyway, uh, power might go out. So if the stream drops, then, uh, you know what happens. Also, thank you, Bandit, for gifting us up to Slim Birdie. And I was saying, I'm wondering if they're going to replace the uh, Sweeping Edge entirely. So, like, they're either going to have to add it to Bedrock Edition, or they're going to have to remove it from Java and give us something entirely different as a replacement for it. Which could happen. Did I not get any Glowberries? So, like, instead of Sweeping Edge, we would have some other uh, mechanic that would be replacing it. I don't know. There's a couple ways that it could happen. Either way, we should be getting a Bedrock uh, combat update someday. Uh, trying to kill our Sweeping Edge. They're kind of two entirely different systems. You don't really need both. 
Oh, we can use this for our lights. That's right. Yeah, I like that these produce light. I don't like that you have to harvest the berries to get the vine, though. Could be more convenient. You can't walk through those? Or, oh, you get stuck on that. You can't walk through the uh, the top of that. Interesting. Yeah, hopefully trying to kill this won't be removed. It's It's such a good little game mechanic, and it just works super well. So hopefully they don't. Java Edition is already working on another combat update. Yeah, that one's specifically designed to work for Bedrock and Java. It's not just for Java Edition. It's for both. They said that from the get-go. We're going to have to come in here and trim some of these vines. You getting big storms there? Yeah, seems to be the thing. Bajillion degree weather and then, like, storms. Apparently people are getting tornadoes and stuff. That's crazy. Tornadoes are the worst. Luckily, never had to uh, be in one of those, but yeah. Yikes. I've been through some forest fires. And some tsunamis. But those are like, you know, hours in advance kind of deal. Don't really get a flash tsunami. Sometimes you do, but generally it's a couple hours notice. Just gotta go across that ocean. Yeah, that's our consolation prize for how slow the mob spawning is. We got trying to kill us for sure. Oh, it's like <laughs> I almost said it was cute. Uh, it's a frog, I guess. And then this back here should be moss. Boop, boop, boop. Yeah, pretty, pretty simple little thing. I don't know how far I want to take this. But we're going to have to pretty up the top of it at some point. And then I guess get some regular vines in here too. Ah, uh, JC's gonna have a fit about this. I'm using glow berries everywhere. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's all the moss I got. I guess we can add a couple moss, mossy carpets. Yeah, I don't know. I think that's probably about good, right? It's a frug. It's so silly. It'll look better once those things grow in, I think. And once we uh, are able to decorate this little wall right here a little bit better. Yeah, I definitely want to remove those torches. The torches on the walls are not doing it any favors. I think we need some glow lichen. Or, like, we need we need some sort of hidden lighting. Which is not as easy to do on Java as it, as it is on Bedrock. So we need, like, a sea lantern or a frog light... Or a shroom light. <laughs> I just looked over and there's a Castle Crasher meme. Because I still have that pulled up. And it's a blue knight smack. It's the Will Smith smacking meme. But it's got the blue knight and like the dark wizard from Castle Crashers. <laughs> Dumb. But funny. Unexpected. Okay. Pretty solid little little froggo. This should be a good uh, starter base, I think. Uh, Hoodles, thanks for giving a sub to any NHA. Thank you so much for that. Uh, we got MC1 with a follow as well. 
And big blue frog. Hello. We got hard wolf and jolly and bulldog cone and refined along with lynx Lido. Thank you for the follows everybody. Underwater frog base a little bit. So this is kind of like the final standing of the Frogo. It is our humble a toad and it is looking pretty good. If we turn on the shaders even, it's looking way better. We gave it a little moss like home to sit in. We need to like clean up these upper edges and the edges of it in general. And then this little like barrier wall right here is to give it a nice little pond in there. So that's kind of cute. This entire thing is made out of cobblestone, but with the shaders, it obviously looks amazing. Look at this beautiful blue lighting. Anyway, we need to get a bunch of stone in there, but I don't have a soaked touch. So this is kind of where it's at right now. Uh, those definitely shouldn't be right there. Remove those torches, clean up those chests and stuff. It's a really cute little frog. I'll probably end up removing the teeth because it's just kind of, uh, it's just kind of uh, nightmare fuel. A little moss wig could be really cute on top of here. That could be great. <laughs> Put a little bit of moss on top of the froggy. Oh, that's adorable. It'd be so cool to be a frog. Frogs are just like the best. There you go. Now it's got a little bit of moss on top of it. Like it just came up out of the water. Oh, we should definitely get some lily pads in here and stuff. Oh, that's exactly what it needs. It needs to be like a teeny tiny little swamp. We definitely need like some proper vines in there as well. That'd be so perfect. The lag is crazy. Ah, uh, that's because of shaders. Yeah, they're not extremely optimized. Or my drivers are just that bad. <laughs> It even does that with the RTX one, though, too. So I think it's just something about the streaming. I'm just, like, totally maxing out the uh, computer. Yeah, I think the power's probably going to go out. Okay. Well, we're over time anyway. So, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's live stream. Thank you so much for watching. And we're going to end by rating someone, as we always do. If you enjoyed today's live stream, then, of course, drop a follow as it helps out the channel and the video a ton. Check out today's video on YouTube as it's brand new with a skeleton farm for your enjoyment. There's links to all the things that we do there in the chat. And I will see you again on... What day is it? Tuesday. I'll see you on Thursday. 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard, 8.30 Eastern, late UK, early Australian. And we're going to end by rating iJevin, who's playing some Minecraft right now. Uh, last time we rated him, he was about to end, so we'll see what happens. It's probably going to be a similar situation, but he's the only person I know that's actually streaming right now. So, regardless, say hi to iJevin for me. Tell him where you came from. If you enjoy his live stream, drop a follow on his channel so that you see more of him. And otherwise, thank you so much. I love your faces. Thank you, everyone, so much for the support, for the many, many subs tonight, and for the tons of followers as well. I'll see you guys again on Thursday. I love your faces, and I'll see you around. Bye!